alternative, and InfoWars is not a small part of that fight. I've always been humble, but I'm not going to be a liar here today. I'm going to tell you the truth. InfoWars.com, the news radio shows, the TV programs, the documentaries, the news articles is undoubtedly the single most effective pro-human, anti-eugenics, anti-globalist media organization in the world. DrudgeReport.com gets more visitors and more traffic than Facebook and the New York Times combined. And its total reach is bigger than ours as one site. And we're not in competition with Drudge Report. But Drudge is links as an aggregator with some stories they break, but mainly to other sites. So don't confuse the two. This is an originating news organization that probably puts out 50% of the news as our own research and analysis and then shows other news items and legislation and documents from around the world as well as citizen journalism as exhibits to what we're covering. And we don't sit up here and try to sound like some stuffed suit and the fanciest guy in the world who's got all the answers and is all stuck up and full of themselves. People are sick of that. We get up here, brass knuckles, in the street, not backing down. We're under attack. It's toe-to-toe, -to -toe, fist to fist. This is the real deal. This is down in the streets with the New World Order, slugging it out in street-to-street, house-to-house warfare. And I'll tell you what trumps all the fancy high-tech propaganda and all the media stooges and all the fancy ties and all the pretty girls of the New World Order, and that's the necessity to be free the necessity to not be a slave, the necessity to not be, live in a system based on total fraud. Now, there's an incredible lineup still coming tonight. I'll be interviewing Larry Nichols here in just a few minutes, big-time Clinton insider. Then we'll have the video premiere of Larry Nichols. Uh, the new Clinton Chronicles 2015 is what I'm calling it. Then we've got Rob Dew and Ligo Zagami, Vatican insider, blowing the whistle on blackmail to take over the Vatican and turn into a globalist organization. Uh, Joe Biggs and others, uh, Darren McBrain are going to be on air. Uh, Paul Joseph Watson, a bunch of special guests, Kit Daniels and Rob Jagison, uh, Mikhail Phelan, more Watson and Rob Dew. Then we have the video premiere of the Leo Zagami interview at the Vatican, demonic possession of the Vatican exposed, and we don't mean literal demons, we mean the globalist takeover with blackmail, and then the Alex Jones show kicks back in tomorrow live, 11 a.m. Central, and we go for four hours, and that's it for the 28-hour transmission. But don't worry, the interviews, all of them, the special documentaries, the, the special reports, they're all going to be posted at the YouTube channel and a bunch of other channels and Facebook and Twitter, all there chronicled for you uh, as we speak, and over the next few days, it'll all be posted so that you can share whatever touched you the most, whatever you thought was the most informative with your friends, your family, uh, and others. Now, do we do have Larry Nichols? Okay, fantastic. Thank you. Because before we go to him, and I appreciate him staying up late to be on with us tonight, to talk about what he thought of the debate, the election, uh, the imminent fall of Hillary Clinton that is getting closer and closer, or is it just meant to make her look like the underdog? I wanted to have that call to action. Um, we are updating every 30 minutes or so as more donations come in via phone and via PayPal and other systems at Infowars.com forward slash money bomb. And if we point over here at the screen, uh, folks can see we've reached $403,000. And I believe we will reach a million dollars. Our normal goal is about 500. We've usually raised about 500, 600 uh, when we do these. Uh, I haven't uh, done a money bomb in three years, even though. One of our listeners invented them, and the politicians all use them, because we didn't need the money to build these studios, hire more reporters, and do what we did because of the great products and services and sponsors we've had. It's not my goal to be like NPR based on people giving money and taxpayer money. We don't get any taxpayer money. This is truly free will, uh, what you're doing. This is truly uh, free association, classic Americana, classic libertarian ideas. This is money you can give that's not stolen from you by the globalists and the foreign banks and the government. This is money you give knowing it's going to go directly to the front lines, directly to confront the people harvesting babies, directly to confront Monsanto, directly to confront David Rockefeller, directly to confront the gun grabbers, directly to confront the globalists.
And so when you go to Infowars.com forward slash money bomb and you donate, you know that you've been at the very tip of the spear in the fight helping fill this war chest. And 100% of the donations that come into the money bomb will go directly to expanding syndication and running other operations. Now, continuing here, you can also take advantage of 24-hour free shipping. In fact, I had it in here. Uh, I had a plug sheet that had all the specials. If I can have one of those, I'm sure it's here, but I'm having trouble finding it. And if I can get one of those, I will uh, let the folks know what's coming up. But we've got 30% off. Do I actually see that? That's an hourly special. It's been 20 all day. Free shipping, huge value. That's like 20% off. Then 30% off Super Male Vitality. 30% off Survival Shield X2. 20% off Brain Force. 15% off Deep Cleanse. 15% off Oxy Powder that flushes out your guts, your intestines. 15% off Secret 12 Methylcobalamin. 20% off Silver Bullet, the best colloidal silver out there. And for another week... A week's already run by. We have the lowest price anywhere on my Patriot Supply products, the full spectrum under our new private label, InfoWars Select, InfoWarsSelect.com, InfoWarsStore.com. We also carry the full selection of my Patriot discounted to the lowest level as well. So it's really great deals, and you're supporting the transmission. We are free market. We fund ourselves, not with the tax man coming and taking your money, giving $450 million a year to NPR with all their money begging and endowments from the Rockefellers. And they got Rockefeller giving them money, Carnegie's giving them money, Ford Foundation giving them money, the Fed's giving them your money, begging for money every week, 24-7. We beg once every three years. I mean, that's really the difference. These people make me want to throw up. I mean, I would not take taxpayer money. You know, MSNBC gets taxpayer money, billions to NBC of stimulus money. Rachel Maddow, that pig on two legs with a wig on her head, uh, sits there and gets your tax money while she calls for taking our guns. I mean, this is truly sick. So by the time this show ends tomorrow at 3 p.m. Central, I want that rocket that we've got symbolizing the satellites we're turning on. We're already committed. We already did it. The point is it's $400,000 roughly, right at $400,000 to pay for the closed captioning for one year for five hours a day. That's $120,000, $10,000 a month. The satellite added in is about 400. Those two items together is 400. So the great news is we've reached the goal, the base goal we had, amazing, to raise $400,000 to pay for closed captioning and a satellite to hit North America. Quite frankly, if we went crazy and raised a million and a half dollars or something, I'd turn on Europe, I'd turn on parts of Latin America, and then pay for the Spanish translation and the rest of it to beam that in. Then next I'd hit Europe, then I'd hit Africa, then I'd hit the Middle East, and so forth and so on. We're talking, depending on the satellites, you know, 280 grand a year to put these on in each region. Uh, but we've got it now. We already signed the contract months ago. It turned on a month ago. I didn't announce it. We're already on that satellite, infowars.com forward slash affiliates to find out all that information of your station, UHF, VHS, or cable wants to pick it up. And a lot of them are calling us. A lot are already picking it up. So stations have spurred us to do this, wanting not just to download the shows and air them whenever they felt like it, but to have that daily feed that spurred us to do it. So Infowars.com forward slash affiliates to find out more about that. Affiliates or affiliate will do it. But don't wait, ladies and gentlemen. Take action now. Get the lowest prices on revolutionary nutraceuticals. Get the best prices on storable foods. Uh, get the best prices on a lot of other specials and products at Infowarsstore.com and support the very tip of the spear in the fight against the globalist. The toll-free number to join us is 888-253-3139. Uh, that is the number, of course, uh, to call in. Uh, the number to call and make orders, we'll put that on screen as well. Again, that's 888-253-3139. That is the order line, 888-253-3139. 3139, where you can also write mail orders or donations to P.O. Box 19549, Austin, Texas 78760. But this is the 2015 money bomb. I would like this to be the final money bomb. I told crew privately three years ago that was the last because I believe we could have sponsors and products 
that would fund us. But I had a lot of family issues, a lot of private issues, a lot of other globalist attacks. And it's a lot to build studios and hire people and deal with that. And we have a great crew now. I had to deal with right out of the textbook, actual infiltration and stuff that would curl your hair. I'm not going to get into it, but I can write a book about it someday, and I do plan to. But just next level attempts to shut us down. We only became stronger out of that. Met a lot of great allies and friends throughout that. It's been a wonderful experience. I thank God for the blessings uh, of the fact that no weapon formed against us so far has prospered. But being in those side battles has taken us away from the main mission. But now we're going into the war, into the info war, cry havoc, and let's let loose the dogs of the info war, to quote William Shakespeare. And this is all because of you and your prayers and your support. And it was so humbling to sit back here for a few hours when I was here tonight and today, but to watch it from home, to be able to uh, watch it while I was outside uh, on the iPhone, to be able to see the great reporters and researchers and the hours of live coverage that we did, uh, uh, real-time analysis of the Republican debate, and to see how great our crew is was extremely buoying. So again, uh, another success story, another success story for Americana, another success story of lifting ourselves up by our bootstraps with your help. You are the wind that has been caught in our wings. You are the wind in the sails that has allowed this teleprompter free, just pro-human, red blood and guts attempt to alert humanity having success. You are the reason. And then all the amazing guests, all the research, all the other great patriots, all the great lovers of liberty from around the world, we're able to have on the broadcast six days a week on the radio show, five days a week on the nightly news, and to be able to reach so many diverse people and resonate with you is the greatest of blessings. So thank you all who have donated. Thank you all who are going to donate. Thank you all who've purchased products. Thank you all who've prayed for us. Thank you all that have spread the word about the broadcast. Thank you all who've put a link to Infowars.com forward slash show for the free video feeds and podcasts and Droid and iPhone apps and sent that to your neighbors and friends and family and strangers and online marketers and solicitors. Uh, you know, they, they send you something, you send them something back. You know, those of you that have written it on uh, Federal Reserve notes or sent it out on your mail, you are the people changing the world. And I salute you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I want to go to Larry Nichols, who I appreciate joining us. Larry Nichols is, again, one of the consummate Clinton insiders. And I want him to go back and talk about some of the other people he was there with in the early days of the Clinton, Dick Morris and others. But he was the guy that wouldn't go along with it, even though he's very successful, but in special operations in Latin America, done a lot of bad things. He had that Saul of Tarsus moment on the road to Damascus, and he took action and, and really exposed him. And the Clintons have told the New York Times that they're worried about Larry Nichols. Well, now we see what may be the fall of Hillary as the establishment turns against her. And if she does go down, because Obama wants to have his own, his own dynasty and his own people staying in power, that's still a victory because it scares the rest of them. But I want the next 25 minutes or so before we premiere this documentary to let Larry give us, as we talked to him three weeks ago, his latest breakdown on what's unfolding and uh, what's happening. And, of course, me and Larry Nichols have a lot in common. We both are from the south. Texas and Arkansas are kind of the border of the south going into the west. We both got really scratchy voices. And we both don't like Hillary or Bill Clinton, really Hillary Clinton, because we realize they have a, a drive to dominate others. You know, the problem is so many real men or real women are t not so much prideful. We just can't get in other people's business. We're not out starting fights with people. We don't want to run other people's lives. We don't want to cheat people because we're already confident, we're already successful, and we like liberty. And we can get led astray. None of us are perfect in life. But when the evil gets so obvious, there's got to be a point you say no. And I've noticed in history, but also in my life, being politically involved for 25 years, on air almost 21, that the most dangerous people to the tyrants are the people that had actually served them incrementally getting sucked into it and then finally, at a point, break with it and say no. And so some people talked about Larry Nichols and said, well, 
you know, the Clintons and people, that's probably 